going to be creating this cool and easy hand-drawn style effect by using one secret and hidden gem Photoshop tool. It's a game changer called the Smudge tool. So let's open up Adobe Illustrator. So in this Illustrator file, we have the example of what we want to copy on the left-hand side. And we're just going to zoom in and see all the nice details that we have. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick out a font that's similar to what this example is, something that's rounded around the corners. So we're going to type in in our character panel round and then just scroll through all of the different options we have and this one looks pretty good so we have sf pro rounded black and the thickness of this is nice and the roundedness is cool too i'll leave a link down below on where you could get this font we're going to outline it similar to our reference and then looking at the reference we can see that there's lowercase areas like the, the awn and don we're going to make that lowercase and also we see that the i in cosmic is lowercase as well so after we have all of the letters typed out we're going to outline the type so then we can start messing around with the sizes and placements of that so we're going to go to type and then create outlines so we're going to slowly start moving things around to to kind of match the pinpoints of the reference that we have things are a little more condensed and then the a w n has a bit of a kind of wave to it where the w n is a little higher than the the a so we're just going to ump that up a bit so after we have everything kind of matched in, what we want to do is go to the stroke panel and have the aligned stroke to be on the outside. So then the spacing in between the letters are easy for us to kind of manipulate when we do the smudge effect. So we're just going to press that. Let's space everything out so it's a little easier for us. And next up, what we want to do is go to the layers panel. We're going to go to the three lines menu and then go to release layers. So then all of them are in their own layer path. We're just gonna drag this out, delete that empty layer and start naming all of these letters. So it's easy for us to manipulate in Photoshop. And after we have that, what we're gonna do is create an extra layer and name it brush shine and just start drawing in some of the brush shines that we see on the reference examples as well. So we're just gonna do that for the C, the O, and then the DAW as well. So it's just gonna be less work for us when we start doing the effect on Photoshop. So after we have that, great. What we're gonna do is open up Photoshop. Let's create a board of 2500 by 2500 and make the resolution 150 pixels. Let's click create. And then we're just gonna copy and paste the Illustrator file as layers. So we're gonna hit the top layer, press okay, and then just keep on pressing OK until it comes up. And as you can see on the layers panel, we have a group and each of the letters are individualized and easy for us to manipulate in a very clean way. So we're just gonna take our reference, put it on the bottom so we kind of know how to manipulate it and it will guide us to what to do. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to layers, new adjustment layers and go to levels. And then we're gonna go to the smudge tool on the left toolbar. It's gonna be below the gradient icon with the finger pointing down. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna give us a circle and we're gonna start manipulating it. And as you can see, it's kind of blurred, right? So we're gonna go back into our levels panel and just play with the levels and drag the levels more towards the right so things become solidified and it's not as blurry. So we're just gonna start warping these into that nice organic shape that we have on the reference. So this tool makes it so much easier for us to manipulate really easy and organically in a quick way. This smudge tool makes it much faster to create and doesn't look so artificial and digital. And also what's nice about Photoshop is we can scale it so then there's really no limitations if you mess up. There's like pretty mistakes that you can always do. And then next up we're gonna do is the O. And the O is a little tilted to the right and squished a little bit. So we're just gonna kinda do that with the smudge tool, which makes it super easy for us to do. Next up is the S. And the S is a little tricky because it has this crazy wave on the bottom of the stem that will eventually go back to it and really refine it, but it might look a little janky at first. And then next up is the M. So the M is really fun and kind of very inflated. So we're just gonna play with that and make it look how it is in the reference as close as possible. Next up is the I. So the I has this really bulgy upper circle dot that we're just gonna make with the smudge tool really easily. So after that's looking really good, what we're gonna do is go back into all of the letters and start looking at the reference. And as you can see, there's like these subtle gaps that connects the C to the O and like the S to the M where it leaves 
this kind of nice cohesive merging and blending which makes it feel like a kind of like a bubble or this kind of organic fluid going in and out and this is going to really help to make it look that much more like the reference and this kind of hand-drawn look so what we're going to do is merge these layers and erase elements and bring this connection back together so we're going to go back to the c toggle onto the mask tool on the bottom the second icon we're going to put that mask tool on the c and then also the o as well and as you can see i'm just using the brush tool to start painting in some of the areas so it kind of erases and connects. So I'm gonna also do that with the O and the S. And keep in mind that black means to erase and white means to make it come back again. We're gonna do that with the O. We're gonna do that for the S and M as well. Awesome, that's looking pretty cool. And it's getting almost there. It looks a little janky right now, but just bear with me because it's gonna look really nice like the reference that we have. So next up we're gonna do the, is the C. The C is super interesting because it's almost like the bottom part is bulging out. It almost looks like it's gonna explode. So we're just gonna do that with the smudge tool really quickly. After we have that, we're gonna scale it a bit more, tilt it similar to the reference and then do the mask layer where it blends in with the top of the circle I and then the C. Awesome, that's looking cool. So next up we're gonna do is refine the S on the cosmic and we're gonna create that long liquid S stem. So what we're gonna do is create a new layer and then just paint brush it in. Make sure that the thickness of the brush is a similar size. So we're just gonna really doodle it until we have a drawing that we like. And after that, we're going to go back and use the smudge tool to really refine it. And that's looking really good. We're going to continue with the D. And what's cool about the D is like the S kind of goes in between the D, which we replicate by using the mask tool and by scaling it to the right proportion. So we're just going to do that quickly. And you can see how powerful the mask tool is where it kind of brings things in and out, easily erases. And also if you make a mistake erasing, you can also bring it back and it doesn't permanently erase it, which is nice. All right, next up is the wonky A on the Don. And as you can see that the negative space on the top of the A is missing, but not to worry, we're just gonna go zoom in on that and click on the erase tool and just erase a little part of that to bring in that negative space. Then we're gonna do that wild W and last up is the lowercase n which has this crazy wave stem on the right of the n that we're just gonna manipulate and that's looking really good let's just move up the w and the n and do some last minute refining we're gonna do the mask tool so then the w and the n merge together all right if we had the whole family finished and looking how we like it we're gonna go back to the levels panel and start bringing in some of the thickness again because things got thinner using the smudge tool so we're just going to grab the levels start bringing it more towards the left area and as you can see things are getting thicker that s is bringing back unnecessary detail so we're just going to erase that and next up what's going to tie everything back together is the shine smudges that we created on adobe illustrator and we're just going to start moving these brush shines around so it matches the placements of the reference that we have we're going to grab the smudge tool and start Start matching the curvatures of these areas so it feels more in place with the letters itself so we're gonna just do that and as you can see it's slowly starting to look really nice and natural in their elements contained inside of the letters you can see that that bottom S really makes that smudge mark feel really nice and then we're just gonna do it for all the other letters as well And last but not least, the N. So after we have all of that shine looking really nice, what we're gonna do is just grab all of the layers and just condense it ever so slightly so it feels more contained and compact like the reference that we have. And as easy as that, that's it. That's the smudge tool that we use. And hope you guys digged it and found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Peace.